Good morning, church. My name is David Iguma, and I'll be presenting a Bible recitation for you today. I want to thank Pastor Badu and Mommy Shade for giving me this wonderful opportunity to do this. It'll be the Bible recitation will be taken from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 1 to 25 and will be read from the New King James Version. Therefore, laying aside all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking, as newborn babes desire the pure milk of the word that you may grow thereby, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is gracious. Coming to him as to a living stone, rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God and precious. You also, as a living stone, are being built up a spiritual house to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to him through Christ. Therefore, it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay on Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and who believes on him will by no means be put to shame. Therefore, to you who believes he is precious, but to those who are disobedient, the stone which the builders rejected has now become the chief cornerstone. But a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, they stumble being disobedient to the word which they were appointed. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who has brought you out of darkness and into his marvelous light, who were not once a people, but are now the people of God, who once have not obtained mercy, have now obtained mercy. Beloved, I beg you, sojourners and pilgrims, abstain from all fleshly lusts which war against the soul, having your conduct honorable among the Gentiles, that when they speak against you as evildoers, they may, by your good works which they observe, glorify God in the day of visitation. Therefore, submit yourself to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether to the king as supreme or to governors, to those who are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and the praise of those who do good. For this is the will of God, that by doing good you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. As free, yet not using liberty as a cloak for vice, but as bond servants of God. Honor all people, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. Servants, be submissive to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the harsh. For this is commendable if because of your conscience towards God, one endures grief, suffering wrongfully. For what credit is it if you... You are beaten for your faults and you take it patiently. But if you suffer and do good, if you take it patiently, this is commendable before God. For to this you were called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. Who committed no sin, nor was deceit found in his mouth? Who, when he was reviled, did not revile in return, but when he suffered, he did not threaten, but committed himself to him who judges righteously. Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that us being died to sins, might live for righteousness by whose stripes you were healed. For you were like sheep going astray, but have now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, David. Hallelujah.